They from the road, you know. Yeah. We started just playing with toys. Yeah. Catching them so you know. Yeah. We grabbing, we're letting it go. Yeah. Get from the road, you know. Yeah. We started just playing with toys. Yeah. Catching them soul, you know. Yeah. We're grabbing, we're letting it go. Yeah. Pull up, yeah. jump out the ride. Who that? Billy Jones. Oh. Back on the grind, yeah. Kill his home. Ooh. I'm back in the shot cause I'm clapping it. Yeah. I'm loving it. Yo, it's your boy Justo from South Killy. Right now you're on my block. I'm gonna take you through the block, show you the way I grew up and everything, yeah? Roll with me. We're on Marvin Road. You know what I'm saying? I grew up on this block right here. Out here, like me and my friends, we used to like, there used to be a little building right here. It used to be called Golden House, but this is like all new now, yeah? But check it. When I was young, over here, we used to practice like running. Me, Jimmy J, Rayla, you know what I'm saying? There used to always be three of us. Sometime we have our bedroom bullet. He would look out the window, he used to live over there. Number 15, if I'm correct. So we used to always practice out here. Come through, let me show you look. Yeah, and around this part here, on this little open field here, we used to basically just like play kick rounders, like, you know what I mean? Kick rounders and all that. And there used to be a dog that used to be in, right here in this house here, Nate, Abraham's house. This dog was mad. You know I mean, everybody was always scared of that dog. You know what I mean? But yeah, this fence used to be a little bit much more higher. Never used to be like this. You feel me? And this is my block, Filet Court. You get me? This is where man grew up, basically. You know I mean, my kitchen window, my kitchen window, was, I think, not, not this one, it's the next one up. That's my kitchen window. I think that's my kitchen window, that's my kitchen window. And that was my living room, right there. You feel me? But yeah, open space out here. Harry and Caleb used to live right here. You get me, the, the bullies are the ends. They used to be the bullies of the ends when I was younger. Can't even lie. A lot of madness has happened out here on Marvin Road. I can't lie to you. Bear, bear fights with the Jakes. A lot of fights with the Jake on Marvin Road. You get me? But yeah, man, you know how it goes. Let me take you lot through this. Voila. Burn down the camera lights. This is my floor. This is where, like, we used to play go to go up here. You know what I mean? Bulls would go over sometimes. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's mad. Just even being up here right now is crazy. I haven't been up here in such a long time. And yet, but I do remember one thing though. When I first came here, when I first came to this country, and the first trip, like, my mom had a choice where where she wanted to live, Stonebridge or South Kilburn. So, you know, basically, we said we wanted to live here. Do you know what I'm saying? And I remember I was standing right here, and we saw the park. When we saw the park, it was like, yeah, this is where man wanted to live. And it was bit active. It's not like how you've seen it here right now, you know what I'm saying? And this used to be my door right here, 47. 47. Yeah. And this would be the fire door scape. This would be the shed where you used to keep like your bikes and everything. My next door neighbor, 46, Jimmy J. You know what I'm saying? It's my next door neighbor right here. My dog, I can't even lie, bro. You know what I mean? We used to be out here fixing up mountain bikes, go, like I said, go to go, run out, knock down ginger. You know what I'm saying? Like, you see those sides? See like those sides there, or the, on the sides part of the building? We used to try and climb that. You get me? Crazy. And I remember one time me and my, me and my boy Jay, we were out here talking. Saw a man jumped out of the window. Like jumped out of the middle windows. 16th floor, if I'm correct, boom. Splash in the middle over there. And what's it called, a long time ago, if you go downstairs, there used to be a bridge I used to lead you all the way to the shop. You feel me? 
But yeah, man, this is Blake Court. You get me? Home of the brave. Trust me. That's like a bedroom. And then next to that bedroom right there, like if next, that's the bathroom, and then you go upstairs. Yeah, but you see my one will be like basically, you'll come in, the bathroom's there, but you go downstairs. So you know what I'm saying? my video pain. I can't lie, man had to go up on top of the roof up there. You know what I'm saying? Climbed up, bum bum bum. You know how they can go. Anyway, you see right here? This lift right here is crazy. Once the door yeah. closes, what we used to do, what we used to do, yeah. we used to stop this right here. Put your finger here, stop it, jam it, and pull it. Once you pulled it, it blocks you. Once it blocks you, you got a girl in here. Yeah. <laughs> Madness. Madness used to happen in here. A lot of men's lost their virginity in this lift. Remember I told you? My boy Bullet used to live right here. Number 15. My boy Bullet will live here. And then, as you go down, here you got number 22. Used to be the twin. The twins used to live in number 22. But like I said, over here, this is where we would have like, this is where the bridge used to be that would take you all the way to the shop. You feel me? And down here at the bottom here, there used to be like a little tunnel that would bring you to the other side where I showed you where we used to play around as, uh, you know, as you can see, the block is getting shut down. Blake or to D block. You know what I mean? Let's keep it moving. Wow. We used to play like gladiators in this block, like climb up there. Uh, climb up there, come back down this frame. As we got older, like we used to play like World Cup in this park. This was the bench. If you got kicked out, you're sitting in that bench. Do you get what I'm saying? So this was the park right here, bro. Lots of fights in this park here. Many fights. You know what I'm saying? <sighs> Survival of the fittest. More time you got everybody around you watching you fighting. If you lose that peak, don't lose no fight in South Kilburn. We used to chill out here more time in the summer. The, cr the grass would be nice, cut low and everything. You know what I mean? Back then there used to be a, there used to be a, like a, a shop right here. And then Nish was there. And then Nish moved into there. He had an arcade there. Lost that arcade. That was the laundry, dry cleaner. Or laundry, whatever you want to call it in the hood. This was, and then after this became the local shop. We used to rinse out this shop. Crazy. This is new block right here this was new block you know what i'm saying yeah we used to just chill out here music thumping money up against the wall this is the money up wall you know what i'm saying so if you watch certain music old school music videos you'll see this was the money up the wall this is the money money wall you know what i'm saying so as we're getting closer this is the block you know been a long time I walked through these ends like this. But yeah, this was the block. This is D block. A lot of shit's happened on this block. This is the block that made us rich. Yeah, made us rich. You could imagine. There'll be like 50 to 60 mans out here. Do you know what I mean? Cars will come through here. We had so much cars on the corner on the blocks. You swear down this was like paid in full. You get me? This is South Kilburn. Don't forget, you see what people don't seem to realize. People think hey, South Kilburn is like one massive ends over there and over there. Nah, this is South Kilburn, like right here. This is the center of South Kilburn. You get me? This used to be my youth, my youth club, Marion Community Center. Yeah, this was the Marion Community Center. This was my youth club. Again, had house, but like had like had like parties in here. Yo, like I said, man, a lot of shit was going on around here. Feds was always around here. Like, you get me? But not so much because they were kind of afraid to come into the ends, the feds. It was more like a no-go area, no-go zone. You know what I'm saying, South Kilburn? You know what I mean? So yeah, this is my youth club, Marion Center. Yeah, man, you know? Brings back a lot of memories still, just standing here. You got to remember, yeah? Rolling through here was mad sometimes. You get what I'm saying? You had like 50 guys, chilling over here, do you know what I'm saying? On the block, outside the block. Then you had a good like 60 to like 40 guys there chilling out, do you get what I'm saying? Then on the other side where you got the park and everything, you got like 
20 to something guys, bro. Like, don't get it twisted. It was mad active out here. Do you get what I'm saying? Mad active. Like, you could not drive through. Girls couldn't even walk by by, <laughs> by even being harassed. Like, that's mad. Like, girls used to get harassed on a regular out here, bro. You get me? But yeah, this active committee, you get what I'm saying? Full active committee, FAC. This is the end of FAC. Let's roll to the pre side. You know, I was born in the Congo. You know, um, came here as a young, young youth. Um, went to school over here. You know what I mean? Went to a primary school called Anston School. From Anston School, I went to Essendine. After Essendine, I went to my secondary school, St. Augustine. You hear me? Um, my, my secondary school was ruthless. I can't even lie. Like, it was proper ruthless. But a good day, you know what I mean? Um, what else? Like, yeah, I got yeah. kicked out of school. When I got kicked out of school, like my mum was always on me, on my case and everything, right? My mum was always on my case and everything. Always telling me to get a job, you know, all of that. You know them ones there, like, I didn't want to really let her down, so I started like, sorting out my CV, all of that, putting my things together. And I went out to go and get a job. You know what I mean? From Monday to Friday, I would be giving out my CV. Then I finally started working for Sainsbury's. At the beginning, it was good. I can't lie, it was something different, you know? At the same time, one of my guys was on the block doing what they were doing. You know, like, I wasn't really, I wasn't really active like that when I was younger, you feel me? I was more just trying to get cut through. And obviously my brother was on the road. My younger brother, Tank, RIP to him. He was on the road doing what he was doing. You know, and with, yeah, that cut the corners and life just took me to a different turn. This is where, like my brother, like my brother in his set used to chill out right here. This is the precinct. Yeah, this used to be the car park. Also, they used to play money up right here as well. On this little thing, um, wall here. They used to play money up the wall. Down here was active as well. Like, there was so much of them. There used to be like a hundred of them. <laughs> Don't tell me where they came from. But yeah, so. Like, these blocks here, you can cut through to the other side of the blocks and everything. You know? And, um, yeah, man. This is the precinct. Never used to look like this. Yeah, never used to look like this at all. Like, I can't remember what was there. Man, that's how you know. Now these, yeah, this was an open field as well. This all part here was open field. It was basically just an open field. You know what I'm saying? Before they built the houses. Yeah, I started music when I got kicked out of school, to be honest with you. But I was very influenced by my friends in school and everything that was making music themselves. You feel me? Um, so when I got kicked out of school, like, I just needed to find something that I wanted to do. Back then I used to play football all the time. Yeah, so that's when I got into music a bit. And when I got into it, yeah, just started it. And then that's around the time as well, I met, um, Biz was always in the area. Like I said, there were so much people in the area. Yeah? You didn't really know everybody just straight away like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, Biz was always in the area, but he was more like my brother, my brother's friend, Tank's bedroom. You know, and um, yeah, my somebody, a boy named a, a boy named Adam Boulder, said to me, yeah, Biz raps. I said to Biz to rap for me, and he rapped. And I thought, yeah, boom, we're going to studio. And even St, my boy Sticks brought him to me as well. Boom, and I asked him to rap. No, I didn't even ask him to rap, I just told him to come studio and he came in and we put something together. It worked, you know what I mean? Boom, and then after that, uh, we came up with a name called Faculty. We shortened that to FAC. From FAC, we took away Faculty, then we called it, yeah, FAC. It was Fuck All Critics. Then from Fuck All Critics to Fully Active Committee. You know what I mean? Fine Arms Cartel, Family About Crash, you name it. That was... That was our thing, you get me? So that's how I got into the music stuff and everything. I haven't really been active, cause like I said, like, 
there's always something going on. You got one foot in and one foot out, like, and you don't even know if this music shit is really even gonna pay off. You know what I mean? So it was one of them ones there. But as you can see, these are the blocks from the Pooh precinct and all that. But yeah, all this part over here, this bit here, this is M Huncho's part. You get what I'm saying? This is his block. This is where he used to live, right here. You know what I mean? So right now, you got the OK Club. That was the OK Club right there. You got the OK Club there where you had a lot of other youths from different ends that will come to the OK Club doing MCing and all that. They were on that. You feel me? So yeah. I'm gonna take you to Alpha Block where Knox, Knox is ends, part of the block. I told you, Killy is big. Yeah, Killy is big. South Killy is actually really big. You know what I mean? So let me take you to Knox's part. Let's roll. Remember, yeah? Everybody had their own set. Everybody had their spot where they were chilling. Do you get what I'm saying? Like, everybody had their own part. That was just the main thing back then. You know what I mean? You had your own crowd, your own man them. Not everybody hanged around with each other. People knew each other, but not everybody was affiliated with everyone. Do you know what I'm saying? So that's another thing. You hear me? Just because you know people doesn't mean and they're from the same area as you doesn't mean everybody's affiliated. Everybody had their own set. Remember that. You gotta remember, I came in when I was what? Six years old. Do you know what I mean? But back home, my background was more like like you're coming from a background where you're wealthy, your family's wealthy, going to a private school and everything, you know what I'm saying? A war breaks out, when a war breaks out, your family has to flee to come and go somewhere else. You know what I mean? A couple of, like a lot of my family members all migrated in France and Belgium and Brussels and those kind of places. My mum decided to come to England. But you have to remember, yeah, even being back home, like that trauma, that PTSD, like, you know what I'm saying? All of that, those things that I witnessed was crazy. So coming to England, it's not the first time me witnessing somebody getting killed in England, you know what I'm saying? I've seen this shit happen when I was in Congo already. When I'm five years old, I'm seeing somebody getting slammed, my bedroom getting killed, you know what I'm saying? Like, I've already seen these kind of things. So coming over here and seeing it happen, it's normal, it's standard procedures. You feel what I'm trying to say? Now for me, it's still standard procedures. You know what I mean? Like, that's just how I see it. You know what I mean? Like I said, I was going to take you lot to knock, uh, like, knock this part. This is his part. Do you know what I'm saying? This is where he used to hang around. Alpha block and all that. Um, like I said before, everybody had their own set. Everybody moved how they wanted to move. Everybody was in their own kind of thing. Everybody had their own style, fashion, what, what you name it. You know what I'm saying? Everybody just had their own spot. Precinct is very big though, compared to South Kilburn. Precinct is very, very big. You know what I'm saying? But once, once our South Kilburn guys, once we came over to the precinct, we kind of took over the precincts. Yeah, once we took it over, when, once we took it over, we emerged it together and made it one. And then it just became South Kilburn. So you don't really think of precinct, you're just thinking of South Kilburn. You know what I mean? It's like, you know, like back in the days, like in history when like the English will go to Scotland, conquer Scotland, but then they take her over. But it's like how we, like we took over like the precinct. After we took over the precinct, the precinct just became our ends. Do you get me? And then we just named it South Kilburn and everybody just felt like, yo, it's Kim. Yeah. I got a project that I'm working on called Marvin Road. You know what I mean? And I hope everybody does like it. It's been a minute that I've even created a project. My last project I made was Kilburn Time. And I was working on another project called Rock and Roll that I never ever got to come out because man ended up getting nicked. Do you know what I mean? And um, had to fight my case and everything. And once I came out, I wasn't really interested in music too tough because I had so much going on, you feel me? And then trying to pattern myself to get right back, you feel me? So now I'm back in the lab, cooking up a muffin feel me so i got a project coming soon i can't give you like, the date yet you know what i mean i'm just putting everything together call marvin road yeah remember the ends remember my block where i showed you the road marvin road that's what i'm calling it. yeah just look out for that project 
Stay tuned. Your boy Billy Joe. Ah. I think the right game is it's not really about the music game right now, is it? It's, everything is kind of quiet. You like you have to you have to do something just to make yourself aware, like, you know what I mean, to make people pay attention to you. Nobody's really focusing on the music too tough. And really and truly you should people should focus on the music. So I think the game right now is a it's sleeping a little bit. You know what I mean? It's sleeping a little bit. You know what I mean? So and I don't really think the industry really wants new people to really come in because there's a lot of great talents out there. You know what I mean? So yeah, I think the music game right now is sleeping. I think maybe we need something hard to bang for it to come out. You know what I'm saying? It's your boy Justo. Just took you lot through my block, through my ends, you know what I'm saying? I know I should have told you like, a few stories about the blocks and everything, but yo, blocks is mad still, them stories are mad, but shout out to T and Crumpet, thank you for pulling up, you know what I'm saying? Tune in everybody, support and subscribe to their channel. Let's roll, yeah? Till next time, yeah. Get from the road, you know, yeah. we started just playing with toys. Catching them so you know, yeah. we're grabbing, we're letting it go. Uh, get from the road, you know, yeah. we started just playing with toes. Uh, catching them so you know, yeah. we're grabbing, we're letting it go. Uh,